Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. Today's video is going to be the Christmas questions tag. Now, technically, I was not tagged to film this video, but I have seen it going around here on YouTube, and I thought it was really cool. I have done the fall tag. I didn't do it this year, but I did it the year before, and I really loved doing that video, so I thought, why not do the Christmas one? There's a total of 20 questions. I pulled it up on my laptop. I would pull it up on my phone, but I filmed for my phone, so I have it pulled up on my laptop. I am going to get through all 20 questions and then at the end I will tag a few ladies to film this video as well. So let's just jump right in to this video because I can talk a lot and I don't want this video to be too long. So question number one is favorite Christmas movie. Now I have a lot of favorite Christmas movies but I would say one of my childhood favorite movies would probably be Santa Claus. I'll insert a picture of the movie I'm talking about up here somewhere. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that movie because it was a pretty popular movie and I don't know why I just really love that movie. Me and my sister used to always watch it around Christmas time and it just brings back a lot of my childhood memories. Question number two is are you on the nice or naughty list and I would say I'm on the nice list. Question number three is show an embarrassing Christmas photo. I don't really have an embarrassing Christmas photo not that I couldn't think of. I will try to find some old Christmas photos and maybe me and my sister. Um, if I do find any, then I'll insert those, but I don't really have any embarrassing Christmas photos. Next question is, have you ever had a white Christmas? And the answer is yes. The first white Christmas I ever had is when I moved from Florida to Maryland. Now I am originally from Florida. I was born in New York, but I only lived there until I was like three. And I grew up in Orlando, Florida, so there is no white Christmas in Orlando, Florida, but I did move to Maryland. Me and Robert lived there for almost three years, so that was my first white Christmas, and that was, I think, like six years ago, five or six years ago, so that was my first ever white Christmas, and now we live in Georgia, and it does snow in Georgia, but nothing like up north. So I do still have white Christmases here in Georgia. So the next question is, do you start shopping for Christmas on Black Friday or are you a last minute shopper? I wouldn't say I'm a last minute shopper and I do usually go shopping on Black Friday. This year I did not go shopping on Black Friday. I like to go shopping right after summer. So I usually go to Target and Walmart right after the summer because every year after the summer they have a huge clearance clear out sale they're trying to get rid of all like their summer stuff to bring in all like the winter and holiday stuff and everything goes like 50 75 percent off so during that time i usually stock up on a lot of toys for the kids or things for my family that i know they would like like candles and stuff for the house so i usually stock up around summertime and then i also will start really doing a lot more christmas shopping around like october so by the time December comes, I'm pretty much done and I don't have to stress about Christmas gifts. So the next question is, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? That one is kind of a hard one just because I love so many Christmas movies and I would love to be in a lot of them, but I would probably say maybe Elf. I love the movie Elf and it looked like such a fun movie to film. So I would probably say Elf. So the next question is name all of Santa's reindeers and I know I'm going to miss one of them, but I'm gonna try. So Comet, Prancer, Donner, Blitz and Vixen, Cupid, did I say Cupid? And Rudolph? That's all the names I can think of right now. Next question is, when do you start decorating for Christmas? I usually start decorating for Christmas on Thanksgiving. That's just a yearly tradition that I've always done on Thanksgiving day. I usually will put up all of my Christmas decorations. This year, I did do it a few days earlier. I did it three days earlier than what I usually do, but Thanksgiving is when I usually put up all my Christmas decorations. Next question is, do you have a real or fake Christmas tree? I have a fake Christmas tree. I've never had a real one. The only reason why I haven't had a real one is because I don't feel like I could keep it alive. And also, I don't know if I can handle all the needles falling off. Maybe one year I will have a real Christmas tree just to experience it one year because I do like the smell of them, but I have a fake one. Next question is, do you peek at your Christmas gifts or do you like to be surprised? So when I was younger, when I was a kid, I was a very bad little girl and I used to always peek at my gifts. I would be that kid that was trying to see all of her gifts. So when I was younger, I was definitely a peeker. Now that I'm older, I do not peek. I like to be surprised. 
Next question is, show us an ugly Christmas sweater. I don't have an ugly Christmas sweater. I am actually having an ugly Christmas sweater party girls nights next weekend on Saturday. So make sure you are subscribed because you'll be able to see my ugly Christmas sweater. I have not purchased it yet. I'm actually going this week with my friend to get one. So don't have one on hand. So the next question is, if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? I obviously would choose my husband, Robert, but if it's asking for someone like famous, I would probably say Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. I don't know why I think he is so hot, but I do. And I would probably choose him. I'm not sure what his real name is, but in Sons of Anarchy, his name was Jax Teller. Next question is, do you have any special family holiday recipes? I would say yes and no. I say yes and no because when I was growing up, my grandma would always make special things only for the holidays and I always looked forward to them. And she still does make them when I go back home, but I say no just because I don't make it and I don't make it for my family just because I don't know how to make it. I've tried to, but it just never comes out the way she does it. But the two things I would say is coquito. And if you don't know what coquito is, it's basically a Puerto Rican version of eggnog and it has alcohol in it. So obviously when we were kids, she would make us kids a non-alcoholic version and then the adults would have the alcoholic version one, but she used to always make that. And then she used to always make pasteles and I don't really know how to explain that to you guys what it is. It's basically like mashed up plantains and a bunch of other spices and I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. My grandma makes it every single year and those are the two um, recipes I would say are family special recipes. Next question is, are you a pro present wrapper? I would like to say I am, but I'm really not. Every year I really try to make things extravagant, but it never really comes out that great. So I would say no, because it never turns out the way it's supposed to. Next question is, what tops your tree? I have a silver star on top of my tree, but growing up we always had an angel on our tree, but we do just a star. Next question is, do you make any New Year's resolutions? And I honestly really don't. When I was younger, I used to do like the typical New Year's resolutions where it was New Year, New Me, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm going to be healthier and all that. But I don't do it anymore because I feel like you should be on top of things throughout the year, not only for the New Year. So answer is no. Next question is, favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is just like all the beautiful Christmas lights and family, like just being with your family, spending that quality time with them and just, just the Christmas spirit. I just love this time of year. Like I like the cooler weather. I like all the Christmas lights. I like doing family um, activities, like going to visit Santa Claus. And every year we usually bake sugar cookies. So I just love all of that. I know it says favorite thing and I just said a few things, but I'll just say spending time with family. I usually always go back home to Orlando for Christmas and I get to see all of my family. So I always look forward for that. Next question is, when do you start getting excited for Christmas? I start getting excited for Christmas right when Halloween is over. I'm already in Christmas mode and I'm already getting excited for Christmas. Next question is, do you use an advent calendar? I don't use an advent calendar like for myself. I don't get myself an advent calendar. I know there's like adult versions. I've seen like um, wine ones. I've seen some for guys for a hat, like different types of like rums and stuff, but I don't do it for myself, but I do do it for the kids. So every year I will buy the kids an advent calendar. So the last and final question is, what does your Christmas day look like? Like I said, we usually do go back home to Orlando for Christmas. And it's usually very busy because we usually go to two to three houses. So we'll usually go to my in-laws house in the morning. And then in the early afternoon, we will go to my grandma's house. And then later at night, if we had time, we will go to my best friend's house. So it's three houses that we usually hop around to. And although it's a lot of houses and it is very tiring, I do enjoy it because I'm able to spend time with my loved ones, people I don't get to see all year round. So I do enjoy it. But unfortunately this year, we will not be going to Orlando. So we will be spending Christmas here at home and our tradition usually when we do spend it at home is Christmas Eve. We open up our stockings and watch like a Christmas movie and leave out cookies and milk for Santa. And then Christmas morning is when we open all of our Christmas gifts. And then we usually have um, a really nice like Christmas dinner at home and we just stay home and we relax, we hang out, we play games, we eat, open gifts, and then the kids will go outside with their new toys and play. So 
that's what we usually do on Christmas. All right, guys, so that is going to end my Vlogmas day seven. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me answer all these Christmas questions. I love Christmas, so that is why I decided to film this video. I'm now gonna tag a few of my YouTube friends so make sure to check the description box down below to see if you're one of the girls who I tag. And if I did not tag you and you have a YouTube channel of your own and you would like to film this video, then consider yourself tagged and let me know if you film this video so I can check it out. Like I said, I love Christmas and I would love to watch your video if you do decide to film this. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Remember to give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.